Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ember. If you are new here, thanks so much for stopping by. And if you are returning, thanks so much for coming back. What I have for you today is a Home Goods and a TJ Maxx haul. I actually went to both Home Goods and TJ Maxx a couple of days ago and picked up a bunch of things. It was a super rainy day and the stores were actually pretty busy, surprisingly enough. So I wasn't able to vlog while I was in store. And if you've ever been to TJ Maxx or Home Goods, you know that you kind of have to like really take your time and look through everything. So that's what I went ahead and did. And I think I got some awesome finds that I'm going to share with you today. So I have all my stuff laid out right over here next to me as usual. And I am going to go through a little bit of health and beauty stuff. I'll go through some kind of like miscellaneous items. And then I also found some clothes and shoes that I will share with you guys. So without further ado, and let's get started. So the first thing that I picked up is this clear acrylic organizer. And it just looks like this. It has five different slots up here that you can use for makeup brushes or whatever you want to go ahead and put there. And then it has two drawers down here and the drawers just open up like that. They are fairly small um, and there's an additional space up here that you can store things in. But the current organizer that I have, maybe I'll do an organization video for you guys. Have to let me know if you want to see that. Um, but it's a wider organizer, so it takes up more surface area on top of my little table that I currently have. And I do plan to get a vanity really soon, as soon as they're back in stock in Ikea. Um, so I wanted to switch over to this. So I picked this up, and it was only $16.99. This was at Home Goods, so we got that. At Home Goods, I also picked up this sheet set. So this is just a full-size sheet set, and it comes with everything that you would need. It has the flash sheet, the fitted sheet, and the two pillowcases. And this was also $16.99, kind of in this dusty rose pink sort of color, and I absolutely love this color. My bed, as you can see, is black, so this will look really nice on it. And pink is my favorite color, so. But I picked those two things up at Home Goods. So now on to TJ Maxx. We're going to do a little bit of beauty. All right, so I just picked up this little cuticle trimmer. This was $4.99 at TJ Maxx, something simple, but I needed it. I also picked up these Spa Life Soothing Aloe and Collagen Lip Mask. They're infused with vitamins and minerals. This one comes with six different treatments, so it just looks like that. And they're just these little like shiny lip masks that you would put on maybe on like a self-care day. These were only $2.99, so I thought $2.99 for six was a really good deal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open them up for you. And they just look like this when you open them. So I'm excited to try that. I've never tried a, like, a lip mask before, not a lip scrub. Lip scrubs I've done, of course, but this I've never tried, so I'm excited about that. Next, I got these 30 pack, 30 count, two pack, so 60 wipes, aloe facial wipes. And I think that these are really great just to have around the house. Um, or you can even have like a little pack that you keep in your bag, depending on what size bag you carry around. But these are great, especially for the summer when you're like, your face is sweating, especially now that we're wearing masks so much. When you're taking your mask off, you might just want to wipe off your face with one of these um, before you go ahead and wash your face if you're not at home or anything like that. So this was a two pack and it was $3.99. So I thought that was a really good deal. They usually have these by the checkout if you're going and they have a bunch of different ones. So that was just the one that I happened to pick out. Next, I just picked up this wet and dry detangling hairbrush and I really like to use this when I wash my hair. Again, um, you guys have to let me know if you want to see a curly hair routine and I'll show you guys what that looks like. This was on sale for $2, which I thought was a really good deal. So it just looks like that. It's just pink, of course. Next, I picked up an aromatherapy pillow mist. And this one is in lavender and vanilla. If you've seen my old videos or my previous videos, you know that I love anything that smells like lavender. This is just a pillow mist. I do mist it on my pillows, on my linens, anything of the sort. 100% natural essential oils and this one is four ounces and it was only five dollars so all right so moving on to a couple of things I got for the home like for my apartment um so I grabbed these six-piece bamboo utensils 
I went to cook the other day and I realized that like my wooden spoons at the top, like at the tips of them were getting kind of like frayed. So I went ahead and got rid of those and bought some replacements. And this one comes with six different tools. As you can see, for your spoon, you have what looks like a little spatula in there. Um, and this was $3.99. So six pieces for about $4. I thought that was a really good deal. I also grabbed this two-piece utensil set, and this one is just 100% silicone, and it is great for cooking and baking, silicone comfort grip, non-scratch, which is the main reason that I got it, so that I don't scratch my pants, but it just looks like this, and this one was $3.99. So it was a little bit pricier, two of them for $3.99, but again, you're looking at the material, the durability of it. I do have some that just this part is, silicone and then the handle is wooden or it's bamboo and those don't last as long i find that as i'm washing them um or like hand washing them the i guess essentially this part <laughs> would come off or um like they get just they're not as durable um so i ended up getting this and i was really excited about that so i'm excited to cook with these Finally, I picked up these reusable sandwich bags. This is just something that I really wanted to get for a while now, and they had them. Of course, I picked up the pink. It's like a little mauve pink. And this one is $4.99, and it comes with four. So if you've seen my Dezo haul, they do have these at Dezo in different sizes. I didn't pick them up then, but I happened to be in the food section, in the kitchen section at TJ Maxx, and I guess I got a little overly excited. So I picked those up. So that is what I picked up at TJ Maxx. I also have clothes and shoes that I'm going to go through, but we made a quick stop at Harmon's. If you've never been to Harmon's, it is a cosmetic store. I picked up a few things that I'm going to share with you all. So I picked up this Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation. This is one of my absolutely favorite foundations. It's one of the only ones that I use. I do have really sensitive skin. So whenever I do wear makeup, I look for something like this. I got it in the shade 310 Sun Beige, so it's like that. And yeah, this was just a go-to. I think I paid about $6.99 for this, and at Walgreens or um, Dwayne Reed, any pharmacy like that, they're honestly about $10 over by me. So I just figured that I would pick it up while I was there. I picked up this blue nail polish. It is a little powder blue. I thought I picked this up the last time that we went. When I got home, I realized that I had put it back and gotten another color. I got a yellow. Um, so I really still had this in mind, and I decided to pick it up. And then I just picked up some new emery boards or nail files, and I picked up this little 3-in-1 um, buffer tool. All right, guys, we are in the home stretch. We're going to go ahead and move on to clothing and shoes. First off, I just picked up a new pair of socks. I love black socks, and I love to wear, like, cushion socks, or these are active cushion, so I look for, like, those kind of athletic socks. They're low-cut. These are from New Balance, and it's a pack of six for $6.99, so I thought that was a pretty good buy. I just needed them, so I grabbed them, and they have the New Balance little logo, like, on the front, but they don't have anything over here, which is what I really like. So that is something that I look for. Next, I picked up this little jacket. And it's really light. It's like a really almost silky material. And it just looks like this. I will insert a picture so that you can see it better. But it just looks like this. It has a hood. It is a little sheer. Just a tiny bit sheer. And I picked it up in black in a size extra small. And I guess the tag must have popped off, but I know that I paid about, I want to say like $14 for this. So $14.99 or so, definitely no more than $20. But I thought it was a really nice just staple piece. I'm really big on kind of keeping certain items in a capsule wardrobe. And this is definitely one of those items when the world does open back up and we're able to go to the movie theaters again, or even just to like a little quick dinner. I think this is great just to kind of throw it over and you can dress it up or you can dress it down. So that was a must for me. Next, I picked up this denim wash 
shirt and it's it looks denim guys it's not even denim it is like it's linen it's super soft it feels very beachy and i got it in a size small and it was 12 dollars and it's just a full button down so i thought this was nice it is a long sleeve you can wrap it around your waist or you can throw it over like a cute little dress to dress it down or over a tank top or just kind of whatever you like these are really versatile shirts and i like to have that again in that little capsule wardrobe so finally i picked up a little black dress and i think little black dresses are also staple pieces look at this dress like it looks like that again i will insert a picture for you um but it is like a midi length dress it is a full zip at the back and it's just sleeveless. This was $9.99. I picked it up in a size small. So I am excited to see how this fits. It is really stretchy, so that's a good sign. But for $10, it's felt like you can't go wrong. Like, hello, <laughs> bro. All right, so that is clothes, and we are just going to go ahead and close out with shoes. I got three pairs of shoes. You guys are not gonna believe these prices. We're gonna start off with the ones I'm most excited about. Calvin Klein pumps. These heels are everything. Like, check that out. And the back just looks like that. And I got these for $19. I actually stuck the tag on another pair of shoes that I'm about to show you right now, but I wanted to take the tags off right away so that they didn't get that sticky residue on them. But I am so excited about these. All right. You guys are going to laugh at me. Don't laugh. I got these flats. The same flat, but in two different colors. And I am like notorious for doing this, but I will pick up something that I like. I'll pick it up in like as many colors as they have. And I don't really know why I do this. I guess because I like, like the items so much, but I got them in black. And so this is a $19 ticket for the... Calvin Klein pumps because I knew I was going to do this haul and then I got the flats for $12. So that is, I think that's a really good price. They're just this little sling bag. They do have a little bit of sole, which is nice. Um, the black flats that I currently have are like, they have no sole. They're like completely to the ground. They are, I want to say they're from Forever 21. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So I ended up getting these and I just got the same ones in this blush pink. But in certain lighting, they look like that dusty rose pink. And then in other lighting, they look nude. Like right now, they look nude. In the store, I promise you, they looked dusty rose pink. And these were also $12. So. And that is all. That is everything that I picked up during my little trip to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Harman's Cosmetics. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are not already um, to see more amazing content. And I do want to take a second out and thank you all for subscribing to me. We were able to reach 100 subscribers, which I was super excited about. And as I say on Twitter, if you're not following me on Twitter, my Twitter is at HavesEmberYT. I'll go ahead and link that below. But as I always say on Twitter, this is only the beginning. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.